Welcome and bienvenidos, Narit. My name is Gerardo Jerry Asensio, and I am your host to the ESN Network. And with me today is my very charming co-host, Carmen. Buenos dias. <laughs> Thank you, Jerry. Buenos dias. Y buenos dias, Narit family. My name is Carmen, and I'm your co-host to the ESN Network, the official talk show of the National Association of Hispanic Real Estate Professionals. <music> Y ahora, ¿qué pasa, NAREP? Mi gente, this week we're going to have ESN talk to one of the leaders of NAREP National. That is our very own president, Jerry Asensio, right here. Muchísimas gracias. Okay, Jerry, I've got to know. How has your life changed after being elected our national president? In one word, ocupado. <laughs> Extremely busy. <laughs> I believe you. There's a lot going on, and NAREP <laughs> is such a large, vast organization that to do it right, you really need to step it up and go in with two feet. Now, does that mean a lot of traveling everywhere just to make sure you're in everything? It does. It does. And that traveling can actually pose some challenges in terms of uh, back at home. Uh, I still run a business. I still am a, I'm a family man. I'm a husband and a dad to some young kids. And so we need to be there in all fronts. So it's challenging, but you know what? It's worth every bit of my time. It's great to hear, Jerry. And I'm sure our viewers would agree with me that you are an inspiration. Yes, yes. And um, I'm sure they all have uh, aspirations to possibly be the president president one day as well. Now, why don't we check in with Gary in the boardroom? So, esta semana on ESN, highly debatable topic regarding REO to rental. Gary, tell us about it. Well, Jerry, as you know, the government recently announced that they were going to initiate a program where they were going to take big tranches of REO properties that Fannie and Freddie own and sell them to investors for rental. And, you know, this is a very interesting... Gary, I just want to jump in right now. You know, our, our members are really against this. And, you know, it really feel like it's uh, taking something... I, I, think, I, I think that's absolutely yeah. true. And I see you didn't wear your jacket today, so you're ready for a I, debate. I was, hot. Uh, I was <laughs> hot for this topic. <laughs> I think our members are feeling something that I think is very um, justifiable. And that is, right now, if you're a realtor representing buyers, your biggest problem is the lack of inventory. So now you hear this program where Fannie and Freddie are going to actually take REOs out of the market and sell them to big investors and force them to rent them. Seems like it's a, a bad idea. Gary, we're having overbids. We have multiple offers. Some of our listings have more than 20 offers and overbids of up to $50,000. So how does this all make sense? I think the government was thinking a while back that there was going to be like a million REO hitting the market at the same time. And this was going to have a big downward sort of uh, pressure on price points. We know that that didn't happen. There isn't a million REO out there right now. So I think you're absolutely right. Both of you are right. I think the issue right now is people want to buy these homes. They have the means and the capacity to do so. We should be able to sell these homes to owner occupants whenever possible. And I think the, the net outcome, and I think NARV's position on this, is that this should be a last resort. If a property is out there and can be purchased by an owner occupant, like I said before, who's going to be vested in that neighborhood, that that's a preferable outcome. If not, then yeah, let's rent them. And I think that's the bottom line. Hola mi gente, bienvenidos a Latino Beat. Como the national conference is right around the corner, I want all of you to be preparados para Los Angeles con mucha pasión. I will be doing a series called Latino 101 que va a ser sobre el baile, episodes on dancing. This week's video is on salsa, azúcar. <laughs> Cuba, uh -huh. and I'm very proud Cuban, I must say. And there are different styles of salsa music. There's a Colombian, that's Joe Arroyo. Dice. También tenemos New York, que es Mark Anthony. En un llano tan inmenso, tan inmenso como el cielo. También Puerto Rico, que es el Gran Combo, y muchos más. Me liberé, me liberé, gracias a Dios me liberé. What's very important with salsa dancing is salsa music, as I was just talking about. And where do you get that? In iTunes, you can go, or si está un poco quebradito and on a budget, you can go ahead and go to Pandora. That's a great place to find great salsa music. You can even make your own salsa station. Ahora, como vamos a tener la música, ya tenemos la música. If you are at home or you're at work, you could come home and just relax and down salsa. So these are the basic steps. Primero vamos hacia atrás. So that's one, two. And then to side, right, and left. Bueno, ahora vamos a probar con música. Y aquí tenemos el maestro Frankie Negro. Es intensamente mía, más que te, que te miro. Eso, está easy. Hola amigos, 
Well, I hope you had a great time on this episode of Latino Beat. I am Maria Felipe. Until next time. And that's it for this week's ESN. Carmen, great discussion in there with that boardroom. Yeah. But I will tell you this. If you have not, if you have not clicked on, please subscribe to our link down below, below on the screen. And for all you Facebookers out there, make sure to take the time to like us. And like me too. Feliz lunes y como siempre, los dejamos con la canción de la semana. And this song is dedicated to our president, gracias, Jerry. Gracias, gracias, Carmen. Right here we have Chente. Enjoy. Ni nadie que me comprenda, pero... I didn't talk about the other two buckets. So, <laughs> so you jumped in and I thought you were going to say, are there, what yeah. are the other things that we're going to so say? <laughs> occupying them and, and making sure we're in the right position to be able to acquire and be able to get lending money for that. So let's what? do that again. Yeah, that, that was, was way, that was way made any sense at all. Yeah, I was like, <laughs> <laughs> I was,